The Amaze Fits GTR4 and the T-Rex 2 are two of the best fitness watches on the market right now. They both position themselves as cost-effective rivals to the best running watches and Garmin watches like the Instinct 2 or Forerunner series. Plus, it's a trustworthy companion to take on your outdoor adventures. But how do they stack up against each other? Which one is better? Let's find out. For more information and updated prices about the products mentioned, check the links in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get started. In terms of price and availability, the Amazfit GTR4 launched globally on the 1st of September 2022 and is available to buy now directly from Amazfit in many countries for $199. The Amazfit T-Rex 2, on the other hand, is $229 full price, but at the time of making this video, it's already down to $189 on certain sites. Don't worry, it's legal. Both the T-Rex and the GTR sport a unique design. However, the Amazfit T-Rex 2 looks like more of an outdoor sports watch, being able to withstand harsh conditions and still be right there with you, even in the heat of the moment. It's 47 millimeters wide and about 14 millimeters deep with a large 1.39 inch screen. Its rugged look is completed with exposed screws on the wide bezel and four buttons, two on each side, which help you navigate around the watch with relative ease. That said, the design won't be for everyone. It's similar in size and design to the Phoenix 7, but unlike the Phoenix 7, there aren't options to customize the watch to make it less bulky. Even so, the watch weighs in at only 66 grams. Weight aside, one thing that really stands out when it comes to the design of this watch is the bright 1.39-inch AMOLED screen with a resolution of 454 by 454 pixels. It's really vibrant and crystal clear and is easy to view on the move, even in direct sunlight. As we've seen with watches like the Phoenix 7 and the Forerunner 955, the screen also has touchscreen capabilities, although, like Garmin, you can still navigate around the watch via the buttons should you have sweaty or wet fingers. Nevertheless, the watch comes with a silicone strap, which is pretty standard for most sports watches on the market these days. It's worth noting, however, that the silicone band seems to be attached to the watch with unusual-looking screws. So if you're someone who prefers to customize your watch, it might prove difficult to add a different strap. Moving on to Amazfit's GTR4 design. This watch has a 1.43-inch HD AMOLED touchscreen display embedded into an aluminum alloy bezel. The screen has a 466 by 466 pixel resolution and is protected by the tempered glass lens, which has an anti-fingerprint coating and an anti-glare bezel. Even so, it comes with a watch crown and a push button on the edge of the case. The bottom of the watch case is made of a high-gloss sprayed PC shell which protects and houses the BioTracker 4.0 PPG biometric optical sensor. The quick-release strap is made of either fluoroelastomer, leather, or nylon. Nevertheless, I prefer the one which comes with the fluoroelastomer band because the leathery strap of its predecessor seriously tarnished the value perception of the watch. The new kid got skills. That said, the GTR4 really feels like a premium smartwatch. Well, maybe not quite as premium as the all-ceramic Huawei Watch GT3 Pro, but quality enough for the price. If only the watch crown and the push button were also aluminum, that'd be excellent. In any case, the Amazfit GTR4 weighs only 34 grams and is water rated to 5 ATMs. The watch's dimensions are 46 by 46 by 10.6 millimeters, and it uses a 22 millimeter quick release strap. Feature-wise, the Amazfit GTR4 is built on the Zep OS 2.0, which has a bad reputation. However, I think it's far from being unusable. The overall performance is pretty fast and transitions between screens are smooth. The layout and menu structure is easy to understand, probably because the watch uses similar interactions to other modern smartwatches. You swipe left or right to view the screens and tiles, down from the watch face to access settings, up from the watch face to check notifications, and so on. As for features, the GTR4 does everything you can expect from a decent smartwatch in 2023. 
It measures heart rate, sleep, stress, and recognizes eight types of sports activities automatically. It has a built-in GPS, Amazon Alexa Smart Assistant, and you can even answer calls on the watch via Bluetooth. Pretty cool, right? The GTR4 also has a similar feature to Fitbit's Active Zone Minute called Personal Activity Intelligence, which tracks heart rate 24 7 and logs any activity that raises the heart rate. If anything, the watch has too many features. Do I need a world clock or a Pomodoro timer on my watch? Not really. The same goes for membership cards and voice memos. Thankfully, the more important features are listed at the top of the menu, so you don't have to rifle through all the random stuff to see your heart rate. The Amazfit T-Rex 2, on the other hand, allows you to see your smartphone notifications, although you can't yet respond to them. However, when enabled, you can see your notifications at a glance by swiping left from the home screen. That being said, the T-Rex 2 also has a weather widget, which allows you to see the day's predictions at a glance, and you can add widgets like your calendar, menstrual tracking, and breathing to the watch. What's more, when paired with your smartphone, you can use the watch to play, pause, and skip music playing on your phone, meaning you don't have to dig around in your pocket or backpack mid-hike. Another cool app I appreciate is the Camera Remote app, which, when connected to your iPhone or Android device in camera mode, allows you to use the watch as a remote for mid-hike selfies. I also think it's neat that you can download a GoPro app on the watch. Moving on, in terms of sport tracking, these two watches have bucket loads of options. For starters, they both come with more than 150 sports modes available, all of which can be customized to show different data screens during the activities. However, Amazfit's T-Rex 2 comes with eight sports which can be automatically tracked on the watch once you've enabled its ExerSense algorithm. What's more, when it comes to tracking different workouts, the watch has all the metrics you'd expect. From simple time, distance, calories burned, and heart rate to the more technical such as training load, anaerobic capacity, and VO2 max. The watch also has training templates, which are pretty much workout plans on your watch. There's sleep tracking, a built-in barometer and compass, and a multi-band GPS, which is seriously impressive for a watch at this price point. Nevertheless, if you're buying this watch for a multi-day trail running adventure or even a long hike, it's worth noting that some of the mapping features mentioned on the website aren't yet available on the watch. At the time of writing, you can't upload GPX maps on the watch. You can only use the breadcrumb functionality to navigate back to the start of your run or trail. This should be changing soon, however. Moving on, like the Amazfit T-Rex 2, Amazfit's GTR4 recognizes eight activities automatically, and these are treadmill, outdoor running, elliptical, outdoor cycling, indoor walking, rowing machine, pool swimming, and walking. The wearable also recognizes 25 strength training movements automatically, similarly to Garmin's. And as with Garmin's, it's an interesting feature more than a useful one, as I wouldn't really trust my watch to keep track of my reps and sets for me. Nevertheless, it's available. That being said, there are some pretty cool advanced running features on the watch, such as track run mode, smart trajectory correction, and virtual pacer. Now, I appreciate that people who need such features might not opt in for this watch, but rest assured, they're available, which adds to the versatility of the Amazfit GTR4. Overall, the Amazfit GTR4 is a very decent fitness smartwatch. Its build quality is admirable, apart from those plastic buttons, and the AMOLED screen is bright and pretty. The features are plentiful, and the watch is excellent value for money overall. The Amazfit T-Rex 2, on the other hand, is a decent watch for those looking for a bunch of features and want to spend around the $200 mark. You could easily use this for most of your activities, and it can track just about every sport under the sun. Personally, if I were choosing between Amazfit's T-Rex 2 and the GTR 4, I'd go for the T-Rex 2. That being said, the chunky design won't be for everyone, and neither will the Zep app, especially if you've ever used the likes of Garmin Connect. So if you're looking for a Garmin around this price point, the Forerunner 55 is the brand's entry-level running watch, which will easily get you around most races. Spend a little more and you can grab the newer Forerunner 255, which is a seriously impressive watch that comes in a smaller package and also has multi-sport modes. 
If you are thinking about getting yourself a Garmin, make sure to watch our video ranking the top 5 best Garmin models you can buy in 2023. For more information and updated prices about the products mentioned, check the links in the description box below. Thank you for watching and see you all in the next video.